Hey, I'm Brent Ayler with Tackle Warehouse, and here is a tournament recap for the first event on Lake Martin with the Bass Elite Series. Uh, a great way to start off the season. Uh, it's fun to come to a lake where you catch a lot of fish, and uh, it's a unique fishery. A lot of spotted bass in the lake down in the clear water uh, toward the dam, and a lot of largemouth up in the stained water up in the upper reaches of the lake. There's a couple creeks and rivers that have you know, stained water from the rain. So uh, you can catch largemouth in one to five feet of water, you can catch spotted bass down in you know 30 to 50 feet of water. Uh, I did a little bit of both. Uh, what I did is I ran and found schools down in the deep water toward the dam and was able to idle around with my hummingbird and I was able to find these schools with my helix unit on the console. So I'd idle over these long flat points that would go out and have a drop off at the end and find these schools and I was able to eliminate a lot of time of actually fishing trying to find them. I was able to find these fish with my graph. And uh, once I found these fish in the tournament, my game plan was to run and fish and catch what I felt was comfortable uh, weight wise, you know, anything over 10 pounds. And I was able to do that every day. Uh, how I did it was uh, really two setups. One was a NACO rig and one was a drop shot. Both were exactly the same uh, setup wise. Uh, my Tattoo Elite series, which is a Daiwa rod that I designed, it's a 7-1. And we call it the drop shot rod, but it works great for the NACO rig as well. The brand new Tatula LT spinning reel. And I use Sunline 12 pound braided line to an FC Sniper 8 pound leader. Uh, now for the drop shot, I threw several different colors of rubble worms. Uh, this happens to be red crawler. I threw Morning Dawn. I threw Aaron's Pro Morning Dawn um, red crawler. And then I used a a Gamagatsu rebar one knot hook uh, for the drop shot and uh, that's what I caught a lot of fish on. I'd find these schools, I'd drop to them, then they'd kind of scatter a little bit after I caught one or two. Once they'd scatter, I used the same rod, the Daiwa Tatula Elite Series, which is my signature, it's a 7-1, the Tatula LT Reel, 12 pound Sunline, 8 pound FC Sniper Leader, and now this I used a 5 inch Senko. I used an Eagle Claw tungsten nail weight in there with a Gamagatsu B10S Stinger hook. Now, it's one of the best hooks you can use on any kind of wacky rig. So for the Nako rig, that was my setup. So once I scattered that school by dropping on them, they felt accustomed to me being there. They didn't want to bite. I would back up and cast the Nako rig to them and I was able to pick up one or two more fish. Uh, so what I did is I had maybe six or eight spots that I'd rotate through and find these fish. And every time I could pull back up, I could catch one or two. And then they would kind of shy off a little bit. I could run to another school and catch one or two. They'd shy off. I could keep rotating through these groups of fish and catch fish. And it was really a lot of fun. I was probably catching close to 30 keepers a day, uh, which really makes for a fun tournament. You don't have to worry about catching a limit. Uh, even though a lot of them were small, it was fun to actually catch fish. And it was exciting to know that any second you could catch a decent sized spot of bass. Uh, so, in the afternoons, after that water temperature kind of warmed up and the sun got out, I would go and throw a Lucky Craft 1.5 in the stained water. So I really fished the kind of polar opposites. Deep water for spotted bass, one to three feet sh or shallow, muddy water with a 1.5 and a T.O. craw. And on this setup, I ran a Tatula XT. It's a medium action cranking rod. It's a glass rod. I threw the Steez A, uh, basically because that's what I had in the boat and I put it on. I really wasn't expecting to do this. So I put on a Steez A, 16 pound FC Sniper fluorocarbon, and then I changed out the hooks on the 1.5 to the Gami G Finesse Medium Heavy hook. Now this hook is, uh, it's a very good hook. It's kind of a cross between a round bend treble and a little bit of a wide gap. It has kind of a happy medium between the two really really sticky that hook right there if a fish bites it you're going to land them it's a very effective hook so i uh, was able to change up like that catch a few every day i never caught that real big kicker a uh, large mouth to kind of push me up there but uh, it was still a fun event i ended up in the 30s cashed a good check got some great points uh, it's gonna be a great week for lucky craft a lot of fish were caught on that bait the 1.5 looks like taki hero is probably going to win the tournament on that exact bait 1.5 in a to craw uh, so great week for Lucky Craft, 
Uh, fun week. We caught a lot of fish. Had a great time and anxious to get on to the next one now. And of course, everything I talked about today is available right here on TackleWarehouse.com.